Hello and welcome to another one of my videos, back on Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today we are going to be showcasing our second legendary upgrade, which is the Shogun Guard. We've already done the Brainian Basher, we did that a while ago, go check out that video if you haven't already. But yeah, so the Shogun Guard basically gives Colonel Corn a shield when you zoom in, it only covers the top half of him, which I guess is, is fair, it doesn't block, block all damage coming towards him. And in terms of like what he shoots, he just kind of shoots it a bit slower and does more damage, I think. I mean, it's kind of similar to how Commando Corn shoots, but he doesn't have splash damage. So yeah, it's, it's an interesting legendary upgrade. And also, one thing I noticed whilst I was playing around just now, is that when you shoot the sand, there's like little particle effects, which I thought was quite, quite a cool little touch. But yeah, so we are going to go into some Team Vanquish, hopefully play as some Shogun Guard Colonel Corn, and yeah, I'll see you then. Right, we have arrived. I am going to be playing as the Shogun Guard, obviously. I have got leveling up as well, but it doesn't actually interfere with, obviously, how the character plays, so that will just be fine. And yeah, we are on Rocky Flats, I think this is called. So it's an interesting upgrade. I do tend to use it quite a lot. Oh god, and apparently they buffed Shield as well. So, yeah, that's interesting. In terms of damage, I think it does more damage per hit than Colonel Quan's thing. But obviously, like a slower rate, rate slower rate of fire um, I don't know if it speeds up or anything it might do I'm not sure but let's let's go and find them I'm in I'm in private play just so I could guarantee I could get on the team I wanted I'm not sure how much health the shield has isn't it like oh god well whatever that thing was just destroyed it instantly I'm not sure how much it has oh okay I've got them through the got them through the fire I don't know Right, let's do this. There we go. Oh, I was going to revive that person, but they respawned. But yeah, I'm not sure <clears throat> how much health the shield has. I think it might have like 75 or more. I'm not sure. I, I definitely remember they had a buff recently. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I died there. But overall, this is probably one of my like more liked legendary upgrades. It's nothing too special. It, just, yeah, it's, it's nothing too special. It's not like the Steam Blast or a Brainium Basher where it pretty much, like, completely changes how they play. You could still kind of play Colonel Corn the same. He just has a shield, so he's a bit more defensive. So, yeah, I mean, and Thorn Apart is a straight-up upgrade, I would say. I wouldn't really say, like, like, why wouldn't you use it? Like, that's... Yeah, <laughs> like, why wouldn't you use Thorn Apart is what I'm trying to say. It's just kind of like a straight up upgrade and instead of a like a thing you can, which you can swap between. Because obviously, you know, if you didn't want to play an up close scientist, you'd just be the normal one. But if you wanted to be a really like offensive one, then you can play the Steam Blaster. But then for Rose, like Thorn Apart is just a straight up like buff. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, that's why Thorn Apart is my least favorite legendary upgrade. Even I don't like the name legendary upgrade. I think I've said this before somewhere, but it kind of suggests that the legendary upgrade is going to be better than like the default primary, which sometimes, most of the time, it is. But like, I'm not sure if they're trying to go that way or not. But yeah, hopefully I'm making sense here. <laughs> to myself. I'm not making sense, but that's we were, wow. The game's flown but flown by already. This is. This is private player, that's what it is, that's why it's going so quick. Let's get these guys. Oh no. Right, can we husk hop over them? Oh, he got healed by the scientist. Oh my god, right. Hide! Oh no, <laughs> I ran right into the wizard. Oh, I killed him. Okay, and I got a prize belt for that. Okay, so update on the prize map. I have gotten to the end. I haven't gotten, like, the final, final reward, but I've gotten the, um like the end of path reward, so I just need to get the other stuff, and I'll do a video getting the um, the full acorn skin if I get it, hopefully I do. Alright, let's revive this guy, just so that the zombies lose a point. Oh no, what was that? What was that? Oh no. I don't want to make it a trade-off. Okay, I made it a trade-off. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. <laughs> Uh, so we're winning. I think we're actually like two points away from winning. Yep, we are. We are two points away from winning. But I, I'm not sure what legendary upgrade I'll do next. I'll probably do Steam Blaster and then do Thorn Apart. And then I'm not sure what I'll do. Actually, no, I do have a plan what I'll do after. Don't worry. It's not. 
unknown. Can I please get someone? Okay, they just disappeared because they're bots. <laughs> but yeah, so this was quite a quick video. I mean, most of you already know this legendary upgrade by now, so I don't really need to do a full depth analysis. This was the first one, so yeah, you're probably quite familiar with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!